I think Squat here may just be the most animalistic Cars character we've ever seen. I mean, does she even know how to speak? I don't know. I think that she just has some weird blurts of sounds in the episode that she appears in Road Rumblers, but I don't even think she has any real lines of dialogue because she's just been with the Road Rumblers clan for way too long. But I mean, it makes sense when you put it that way. If you're hanging around with these kind of cars, obviously, you're going to start to look like this. Hence the reason why Squad does. But I absolutely love Squad's appearance. I think she is one of the coolest looking cars from Cars on the Road, despite her very tiny size. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is that she actually shares the same model as some of the previous cars that I know. Those being the Tokyo girls from the World Grand Prix party in Japan. And of course, my favorite movie, Cars 2. I can't believe it though. Like Those cars are so colorful, so small and dainty and squat well she's definitely small but she definitely ain't dainty that's for sure definitely one of the coolest cars of 2023 in my opinion and today we're gonna be reviewing her of course so welcome on back to the cars garage everyone squat just looks so cool she really doesn't fill up all that much of the blister but you know she still does a good job of looking good in there you know just look at that expression i can't wait to get into this review today pretty much matches the expression that she has on her artwork there actually that's cool it almost never seems to happen. Very nice artwork, though. I like how you can see all the little details on the back. It looks like it just has a big rock rim, and then the front just looks like the tires are rock. <laughs> you can see her undercarriage, all the metal parts, and then a big ring on her hood area for like a kind of like a bull nose ring. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then all like screws all around her body. That is really strange. Is it her back window open? What in the world? It looks like it's open to me. It's not on the die cast, though. That would be weird. <laughs> See her insides? What in the heck? Or maybe it's just cracked. I don't know. It looks like it's open, though, for sure. Something looks like darker on the top of the back window. That's weird. And then she has all of her spikes, obviously, coming out of the head. Like, imagine how much that would hurt to have spikes coming out of your head. But, I mean, I guess Jeremy knows how it feels. He's got the same things, but squads are just, like, ten times bigger than Jeremy somehow. Anyways, though, yeah, you can find squat in 2023 case... L and M, of course, singles, obviously. New for 2023, banner up there. Or not even a banner, it's a little TV screen. That's funny. I always forget it's a little TV screen. Pretty cool, pretty clever, because obviously Cars in the Road is a Disney Plus TV series, so it makes sense. But yeah, I kind of thought Squat would have been on the 2024 poster, and it was just revealed recently, and she was not on it, so clearly she's not coming back for 2024. But I mean, I guess it's a good thing. On the back, as seen in Cars on the Road, we have lots of other great releases. Road Rumbler Mater. Cool to have another fellow Road Rumbler on the back. And then we have Mateo, the West Philanopus, the one and only. And then Randy, Griswold, and Mallory Carhut. I already reviewed Mallory, Mateo, and Griswold, but I'll be reviewing these guys very soon because I just got these two in from Mr. Docket. And then I got Randy in a while ago from Mr. Docket. Same haul I got Squat in. So. Yeah, without any further ado, guys, I think it is time now to crack open Squat and see how she looks. Wow, I can't believe how small Squat is once you get her out of the package. Like, I know she was small, she looks small in the package, but geez, she is very small. Like, she is almost like in mini racer scale. <laughs> But I don't know what it is. Like, I feel like Harumi, Shisaki, Suki, all of them, they don't look that small. But Squad, for some reason, even though she has the same model, she just looks way smaller. I guess it's because I kind of thought that she had the same model as Darla Vanderson. And I was kind of going into this thinking that. Well, not really. But I thought, like, when she was first revealed, I thought that they had the same model. And obviously, they don't. Darla Vanderson's a lot bigger than her. So I am shocked by the size of Squad. But you know what? It's accurate how she looks in the Road Rumblers episode, so it's okay. But look at that. She's really, it's like not that much bigger than Mater here. And this is a mini racer, so that's really saying something. Anyways, so yeah, first off, before we get into this video, I want to show you guys where Squad appears at in the Road Rumblers episode of Cars on the Road. She is in it quite a bit. She has quite a few speaking lines, too. She's obviously one of the members of the Road Rumblers clan. And she kind of acts as the chief this is sidekick. Always kind of like right by her side, kind of always telling the other cars what to do, or Lightning and Mater at least. She tells them kind of what to do, even though she barely speaks at all. <laughs> and then for some reason, I feel like we never get to see her when they're actually battling the electric cars. 
but we do get to see her later on when they're all driving back to the gas station and you know they're all friends with the electric cars they don't have to fight anymore but squat yeah she is definitely one of the most animalistic members of the group like she is very savage in the episode and like i was saying i feel like she doesn't even talk but she does have a couple lines because she has a voice actress and her name is deborah cardona and i found that out when i was looking up info on squat and i just can't believe that's her last name cardona it's like it's already carified but Funny how they didn't use that as Squat's name, because that's usually what they do, you know, for background characters. If they do speak, they'll try to, you know, like base their names off of the person who voiced them. But not in this case, obviously, because her name is Squat. So poor Deborah, you know, she voiced Squat and she doesn't get her name carified. Instead, the car that she voiced gets named Squat of all names. I mean, what a name. I don't know who named her that. Anyways, so let's zoom it on in and take a closer look at her. No plastic eye plate, which is kind of nice. I mean, I like plastic eye plates on some cars, but for squat, I mean, <laughs> we need every bit of metal we can get on her because she's very small, of course, but I do like her expression a lot. She's very angry, and I like how she has the bottom eyelids, too. That's cool. Something we don't see too often. And then she doesn't have, like, the eyelashes like the Chief just has to show that she's a female. Not all female cars do, but a lot of them do. But I mean, the chief is like, she is the chief. She's the queen, obviously, of the whole group, the leader of the Road Rumblers. So it makes sense that, you know, she looks a bit more beautified than <laughs> Squat, who is probably at the bottom of the totem pole. You know, she doesn't have time to do her makeup, obviously. But I think that's just supposed to be eyelashes. So I don't know. Maybe Squat just plucked them all out. I don't know. Anyways, though, she has her big, like, nose ring kind of here. Whatever it is, it's like a big, uh horseshoe i guess a big piece of metal um but it looks really cool kind of reminds me of like how a bull has a ring in its nose and then she has two little headlights there and kind of hard to make out because they just blend into the rust but they are different from like uh well obviously they're not pink like suki's but um they're just like a different shape i mean so that makes me think that squat is supposed to be a different model even though like obviously like, they share the same casting for the most part Obviously, it's not the exact same because there's holes in the top for the spikes and everything. So, obviously, it's not the exact same casting. Um, but I think, like, in the world of cars, I think it's supposed to be the same model. But maybe not now because of the headlight change. I'm not sure. Maybe this is, like, an older version of the same model. That would make sense, maybe. But we do get to see Squat when she is a lot younger. And, you know, like, before she joined the Road Rumblers clan and you can see like she's a pure yellow color i'll put a picture right now on the screen if i can find one and you can see like she has the exact same spoiler as all of the um tokyo girls have in cars too so that's kind of funny how she even she had that spoiler and rodent marker has it too so it's like something signature that that model just has to have but obviously she doesn't have it anymore she traded in her spoiler on her roof for these crazy looking spikes here and i gotta say it definitely fits her well i like it <laughs> very faded yellow color she has like tan but it was yellow at one time it was a pure i think like a lemony kind of yellow color which is pretty sad that it faded to this but still she looked cool and then yeah there's her mouth very angry face it's like the eyes look the same as her artwork did on the package but her mouth is just like the complete opposite because she was smiling in the artwork and obviously she's not smiling here tons of rust though all around her body and her windows are made of metal too which is kind of cool usually windows are plastic i think they're plastic on jeremy yeah they are but even he has the grime but on squat like she's got that grime and all the same detailing which is nice but yet they're metal so i don't know i mean they did it really nicely on jeremy so they probably could have done them in plastic on squat and still got away with it but maybe she's just small maybe they just didn't want to make her so intricate you know like so many separate pieces i guess that would probably cost more money i'm not sure but um they already had the model made from thailand with uh suki and Harumi and chaisaki so i'm not sure why they made the windows metal but kind of cool and then she has all these little dots on her like around her hood which is kind of weird i don't know if they're supposed to be screws like holding her hood in place that would make sense but they seem like they're actually dots you know like i don't know it seems weird i guess it's like screws yeah she has them on the top too it's like she put screws into her metal body that is weird all around look at that every single square inch of her has a screw on it that is weird she's just uh one door 
little hatchback cover though obviously one door handle there the rims are very cool they're different in the front from the back like the back they're more like i don't know they look more like actual rims just like snow tire rims or something <laughs> and then in the front it's like they're smaller the tires they look like rocks it reminds me of caveman mcqueen's <laughs> tires and then the side view mirrors are metal and then yeah i don't know not too much else there's not a whole ton of stuff on squash he's very small not a lot of surface area of course he does have two more spikes in the back on the sides of her window there and then very dark red tail lights little trunk there and then she does have a license plate not sure what it says though it's very hard to make out but a dark red and there's just yeah there's no making that out <laughs> she also has this black line like this trim going all around her on the sides and the back and she has a little exhaust there too which is cool they got every little detail on Miss Squat here. Bottom, just a gray color. It's not really as like grimy as I thought it'd be, but I guess it's just a plastic base. They never really detail them too good. Date stamp, it's S29A. So she was made on the 29th week of 2023 with the 2022 copyright down there. That's cool. I like when they put that. I think they put it on, yeah, they put it on Jeremy too. He was made the 17th week. So yeah, Squat came out quite a few weeks after jeremy of course but yeah pretty cool i love the rust all over even the top like in between the spikes <laughs> that's pretty wild every square inch of her is detailed so so nicely and yeah i guess it's time now to compare her to the tokyo girls i won't zoom it out all the way because they're pretty small so we don't need to zoom it out that far um but yeah i don't know they kind of have similar model it's not the same though i think like these guys are wearing a dress i guess underneath a little skirt that goes around so that's why yeah it changes the model that's why but i think the basis of it is the same probably but i'm not really sure definitely similar obviously she doesn't have the spoiler on top she has the spikes instead different headlights of course wheels are much smaller on squat and well i guess that part's hidden the trim that goes around hidden by the skirt so we can't even tell if she has that trim on suki but yeah obviously the windows are metal they're plastic on suki and all the other ones really no reason to show them all but i guess i could quickly why not pad out the runtime of this video which i feel like is going to be rather short <laughs> this squat's such a small car but here is harumi Harumi is my favorite one out of the bunch, I think, out of the ones that I have. I don't have a Chigo. He was a Chase. And then Chisaki. I never really loved Chisaki. Kind of because she doesn't have as much colors, but she is cool, I guess. I like the plaid design, I guess. That <laughs> is kind of cool. Probably, I should say, Suki's the worst one because she... Actually, no, Chisaki is the one that's been released the most, but that's Thailand. Those are Chinese ones, but I don't think they changed them all that much. show you her next to Darla now. One of the most ghettoest, ratchetest <laughs> cars you could possibly get just because of how much she peg warms. But they definitely have a similar model, so I understand why I thought Squat had the same model as her, but you can tell. Definitely not the exact same. Definitely not. Different size headlights, taillights, and just a whole different size car altogether, really, but has that same kind of trim, so it makes me wonder. If she was supposed to be the same, maybe one of them's just under or over scaled you know i don't know it's possible they definitely have a similar like shape you know what i mean like even the windows they're in like the same spot and everything like the way they kind of like meet in the back it's i don't know and they're both one doors like uh hatchbacks so i don't know you tell me maybe did they get squad size wrong i don't think so but i don't know i guess it's possible anyways though, i think that's going to be it for today's review is she the best road rumbler how we've gotten so far absolutely not chief is the best one <laughs> for sure without a doubt i absolutely love chief i actually just got her 2024 two-pack recently with jeremy just to keep in the package because i don't know it looks cool but it doesn't look as cool as the 2023 one because the cars in the road packaging is gone and i mean honestly even jeremy and road Runner mcqueen are probably better than squat but i think that she's still cool for what she is definitely just one of those background characters but at least she does have some speaking lines that's always cool to get a car that actually talks even if she doesn't talk all that much but yeah i think that's going to be it for today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much it's actually dark out right now i've never 
actually made a video when it's dark out. Usually I always do them early in the day, but I just have nothing else to do. I'm bored. And yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching again. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time right here on the Cars Garage.